Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reaction. Today, I have a Lee Evans reaction video for you. And in this one, he talks about losing your front door keys. And I'm, at the moment, I'm in a bit of a dilemma because Lee Evans has for so long been my favourite comedian. He's been one that like, he's always a go-to. Like, If I need cheering up, if I just need to have a laugh, it's always Lee Evans. And he, I, I don't know, recently I've been watching so like, quite a bit of Joe Coy on the channel. And, and he's catching up. I'm not going to lie. That Joe Coy, for, for what I've watched of him so far, he never, ever fails to leave me in stitches. He's just brilliant. And I think it's going to be very hard to topple Lee Evans off of number one for me. But it's very it's a very close second at the moment. And I, I watch a few other like stand-up comedians on this channel. And they make me laugh. But there's only two on there that really do have me like rolling up. And that is Lee Evans and Joe Coy. Peter Kay's come close at times. But yeah, it's just these two. And I always like watching Lee Evans. I really do. And th there's going to be a lot, honestly. There's a lot of Lee Evans to do. There's a lot of Joe Coy to do. There's a lot of Peter Kay to do. There's a lot. Of, and I want new comedians. So this is where I need you to come in. That, like, if it's the case, if you know of any comedians that will just have me in stitches, that I love comedians like Lee Evans because he just talks about the everyday, his everyday life, like his life at home with the missus and the kids and things like that and like with Joe Coy he's just talking about like how er er his mum is and things like that I just love things like that I d some comedians just like they try too much to go about like too many like unrealistic things and things like that just keep it basic so if you've got any like recommendations please do leave them in the comments down below and I'll get round to doing them but until then let's get into Lee Evans I always look forward to this man <laughs> It's like, uh, and we're all coming at the house today. Me, my wife, and my, uh, my, my daughter and stuff. And you know, you leave it all day in the last five minutes, you're going out the door. Everything is 90 miles an hour. We're like, come on, out the fucking door. My wife turns to me and she goes, keys. I go, oh, keys, keys. I go back in the house. You ever do that thing where you walk in a room and you forget why the fuck you walked in there? <laughs> and then you ask yourself, why did I walk in this room? Why are you asking you? You don't fucking know. <laughs> I find you already that, know honestly, I find that happens so much now that, like, as I'm getting older, I don't know, like, I'm the world's worst for it at the minute because, like, my wife will say something to me. She's like, can you do this for me quickly? And I'm like, yeah. And if I've got to go into a different room from the top, like, if, I, if we're in the living room, she's like, oh, can you go and get this for me? Like, I will. I'll walk from the living room to the kitchen. And by the time I've got to the kitchen, I don't live in a big ass. It's not. <laughs> by the time I get to the kitchen, I'm like, what the hell did I come in this kitchen for? And I end up shouting for her. She, like, she gets pissed off with me. And I'm not, I don't blame her because, like, she has to shout back. But, yeah, my, my memory is getting so bad. And if you already know the answer, why don't you interrupt yourself? I'll know what you're going to say. <laughs> I get the keys. I'm on my way out the door. My wife goes, ah, strange, isn't it? They're always in the last place you look. Well, yes. I wouldn't look, find them, and keep fucking looking. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's true, though. <laughs> <laughs> we say so much dumb crap that like it's <laughs> it's just irrelevant it's something that you don't need to say and that is one of them like it's always in the last place you look <laughs> yeah of course it is because you're not going to keep looking <laughs> oh there they are but fuck it hey <laughs> i just like wasting now and just keep looking <laughs> We go outside, we're sitting in the car, looking up at the house, and my wife has left the landing light on. What's that for? Burglars. <laughs> yeah, burglars would walk up to our house and go, oh no, they're all gathered on the landing. <laughs> yeah. We're all on the landing going, ah, fucking shut up, shut up. <laughs> So I go in, I go in, I switch a lamp on, I go, yes, yeah, I switch a lamp on, that'll fool them, yeah, yeah, no, too obvious, no, I switch the lamp off, we're all waiting for him in the dark, there, no, that's no good, I mean, it really does look like we're out, I'll tell you what I do, I put the lamp on, I put it in the cupboard, I close the cupboard, I know it's on, but he fucking don't, does he? <laughs> <laughs> I love this one, I really do, and it is the case, I don't know why, like, we do, we, like, 
even in my ass that like it's honestly it's very very rare that my ass there's no one in my ass there is always someone in my house that it's never empty that i don't know it's, it's just one of them things that like i think but like because like my house is routine because there's the disabled boys here as well and like they're very very routine and like they've got an older brother who like is fine and like he's if he's not at work he's at home and then the boys are at home a lot because of their routines and everything and like we we have carers come in and everything and like i'm a stat i'm dad i've got a seven year old daughter so my ass is always hectic but it's never empty but on the odd occasion which is usually like a, a, a christmas night or something you began to visit family it's the case like you walk out of your ass and you think i'll, I'll leave the light on that like we'll, we'll leave the lamp on in the in the hallway and things like that everything in the ass is pitch black that and we'll leave one light on and it's Christmas. That so gets dark early. So it's like six o'clock in the afternoon. People know that you're out. People are not stupid. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. Though. That one with the keys though, like when he goes in and his wife's like, they're always in the last place you look. That Yeah, there's there's a lot of stupid things that, not just like British people, like people just in general say that there's a lot of stupid things that are said that, and we still say them. We get told that it's a stupid thing to say, but we'll still say them. But guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed this. I always love watching Lee Evans. I really do. He always gets me talking, I find. that I do. I watch some comedians on the channel, and like I watch them from beginning to end. And I pause a couple of times and say a couple of things. And like this this was just like a two-minute video from Lee Evans. And I've probably talked more than Lee has, but he, he always does that. He always like gets me thinking of... like pastimes or things that we do and things that we say and like i have to talk through it i, I can't help it it's, it's just the way that this man is and for like for what he does and it's like it's brilliant but i'm rambling on guys listen thank you all for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this if you did please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button leave any requests that you have in the comments down below and even down to new stand-up comedians that i haven't seen on the channel yet leave them in the comments down below and i will get around to doing them but until then thank you all for tuning in take it easy have a nice day stay safe be kind i'll see you in the next one